Hey Soul Surfers, welcome to day three of the 30 Days to Self Love series. Now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so by clicking that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And uh, if you're feeling so compelled, go ahead and give this video a like also. Today we are talking about pampering yourself. Oh, this just needs to be done like every day, I feel like. Oh my God, this is horrifying. All right, I'm gonna go get rid of this face mask and then I'll continue the video. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, pampering yourself. Pampering yourself can come with the connotation that you have to spend a lot of money, but in actuality, you don't have to spend a lot of money to pamper yourself. The things that I'm going to share with you in this video can be done at home or done at a spa if you have the money. So if you're on a budget, do not think that means you cannot pamper yourself because there are many ways to pamper yourself at home if you're really watching your money. So the very obvious way to pamper yourself is to have a spa day or spa night. Now again, you can do this at an actual spa if you have the money or you want to really treat yourself and I mean, you deserve it anyway, so you should totally spend the money on yourself to do it. But if you can't find it in your funds at this time, create a spa night or spa day at home. Here are some ways that you can do that. Now, as you can see from the intro, face masks you can do at home. There's so many different kinds of face masks and you can find face masks for a good price at your local retail stores. They have individual face masks, face mask kits that you can use with the, um, the brush. <laughs> you can brush the mask on. You can use the, like I had earlier, the ones that come in a packet and you just put it over your face and like fill in the holes with your, eyeballs and nose and mouth and they have you know charcoal I have a sea salt one there's collagen ones there's so many different kinds of face masks you can also create your own face masks if you look up recipes online as well I remember one time making a homemade sugar scrub from a recipe I guess you call it that I found online on through Google and it was coconut oil and brown sugar and I don't remember what else was in it but you can make your own scrubs at home as well if you don't want to buy the ones that are in the stores another thing you can include in your spa day or spa night is a massage and again you can actually go to a spa and get a massage or go to a massage parlor and get a massage and if you prefer to do that too when you're on a budget I re recommend checking out sites like Groupon, there's always a lot of awesome coupons for local massage therapists on there. That's how I try new places also to see where I really like. But if you're not looking to spend money at all or a very minimal, minimal amount of money, you can massage yourself with your hands. Oh yeah, yeah, see, massage yourself. I even found this really awesome hot stone massage kit at my local Five Below store. So this was only $5, which by the way, if you have a Five Below near you, check it out. They have so many different self-care items there that you can pick up for super cheap as well if you're on a budget. You can also buy a massager from a local retail store and do that as well. If you have somebody at your house that can help you, you can do like a joint spa night too and give each other massages. So really take advantage of that if you have somebody that can give you a massage as well. If you're not familiar with getting a massage or have never had a massage before, really, really important is to hydrate after the massage, whether you're giving the massage to yourself or you've received it from somebody else. And the reason for that is because when you're massaging yourself, you're moving around different toxins in the body and they'll need to be flushed out of your system. So the best way, of course, to do that is to drink water. If you don't drink enough water, what tends to happen is that your muscles can be very, very sore for a few, you know, a day to a few days afterwards. So to try to avoid that toxin buildup and that soreness, make sure you stay hydrated following your massage. Another thing to incorporate into your spa day or spa night is a bath, especially a salt bath. Epsom salts, get some Epsom salts from the store, throw them in your bathtub. You can use bath bombs as well, but just taking a nice hot bath and relaxing, playing music if you'd like. You can turn on some quiet, calm music or whatever music you like. I'm not gonna be there, so whatever makes you happy, that's what you should play when you're taking your bath. 
Now, if you are like me and don't have a bathtub in your house, I really don't have a bathtub, I only have a shower. There's alternate ways that you can do these salt baths as well. And what I do is I go to a local float tank. Float tanks are amazing. Now these are gonna cost money, so you'll wanna budget for them, but they are absolutely fantastic. And what it is, is it's basically a gigantic pod. Well, the one I go to is a gigantic pod and it's filled with like 10,000 pounds of Epsom salt or something wild and crazy. And the water in it is room temperature. And at my place, they let us have a music selection that we can use. And they turn on the music, there's lights in there, you can turn them off or on, and you just lay there and float. And it's so detoxifying for the body. After I have gone to a float session, I feel amazing. I like to do them in the morning because I feel so refreshed for the day, but it's also wonderful at night too because if you're having that experience at night, it can really make you feel rested and ready to get a great night's sleep. Other things you can incorporate into your spa day or spa night are manicures and pedicures. You don't necessarily have to paint your nails, but there's at the dollar store cheap nail polishes. I like to use the nail polish strips because I don't like dry time. I mess up my nails every single time if I do the wet nail polish. So I use the nail polish strips. You can find those at local stores or online. There's all sorts of distributors of the 95% dry nail polish strips that you can purchase. But you can also buy a manicure kit, some lotions. You can get a bucket or a tub to soak your feet. Again, if you have those Epsom salts from your bath, throw some of those in and detoxify your feet. All sorts of pedicure kit, manicure and pedicure kits for super cheap that you can use to make your hands feel fresh and rejuvenated, as well as your feet too, because your feet are carrying your body around. So take care of those too. I neglect my feet a little too much. I need to, I need to be kinder to them. For this pampering yourself, I recommend doing this at least once a week. And if you can't commit to that, twice a month. But just remember that you are important and you deserve this downtime. So show some love to yourself. Make the time to do these things. You're going to feel refreshed and rejuvenated after doing it. All right, Soul Surfers, it's your turn now. Let me know in the comments how you plan to pamper yourself. How often are you going to do it? What routines are you going to include in your pampering? Is there anything I missed that I didn't discuss as a way that you pamper yourself? Again, let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to hearing your suggestions and seeing how you are going to show yourself that you deserve to be pampered. I will catch you in the next video.